Salve dottor Giannini. Buongiorno. Grazie per aver trovato il tempo per questa intervista. Grazie molto per l'invito. Molto volentieri. Allora, non è esagerato definirla un luminare nel campo del calcolo strutturale assistito da computer. Lei ha più di 25 anni di esperienza nella progettazione strutturale e nell'analisi agli elementi finiti di quasi tutti i materiali. Parliamo di acciaio, alluminio, titanio, alleghi di magnesio, ai compositi high tech di carbonio, vetro o kevlar. Come per la Shire Swiss, le sue conoscenze si basano anche sul suo lavoro in Formula 1, dove la tecnologia all'avanguardia è proprio al centro dell'attenzione. È stata anche la Formula 1 a mettermi in contatto per la prima volta con l'odierna Shire Swiss. All'epoca lei, signor Giannini, e il nostro amministratore delegato, Dominic Scheuder, lavoravate alla Formula 1 Toyota, lei come ingegnere di calcolo e il signor Scheuder come ingegnere progettista. E quindi già allora lavoravate con successo mano nella mano. Magari adesso dopo questa introduzione passiamo all'inglese per facilitare un po' le cose ai nostri spettatori per lo più anglofoni, se per lei va bene. Va benissimo. So, just like Share Swiss, you also set up your own business, Mr. Giannini. So, let us know what prompted you to take this step and what knowledge can your customers benefit from today? Well, after the Toyota shutdown of the company, or the F1 project back in 2009, um, I was forced to take a decision. And there was a friend of mine who was starting a company, a consultancy company in Italy, and he asked me to join, mm -hmm. which is what I have done. But then things didn't go the way I wanted to, mm -hmm. and uh, mid of 2012 I decided to, to quit and, and leave this guy, the, the company, mm -hmm. and I started to work in Switzerland. And then after one year I decided to start a com company on my own uh, in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And in the end, uh, it was at that time having more or less 20 years of experience. Um, and I wanted to just try to give my knowledge to other companies. And this gives, from my side also, the opportunity to see many different kind of projects and uh, different uh, companies working in different fields. Mm -hmm. And I think it was the right time because in the end in my past I had, yes, motorsport experience, but also railways, aeronautics. And so you can probably at that point try to um, work in more or less every, every field, but you still have to learn uh, every single day mm -hmm. on any single new project. But maybe that's also the nice thing. Yes, yes, to, this is this is the nice go thing because further every day. Yeah, you can you can bring your own experience but you can still learn something. So it's it's a good it's a good compromise. Probably mm -hmm. this this number of years of experience is where you exactly can still give a lot but you can still learn. And approve so, yes. yeah. mm -hmm. Well actually in the past Cherry Swiss has already successfully engaged you as a partner several times. Yeah. With your consulting company, as you mentioned, um, called Claudio Giannini Computer Aided Engineering. Yep. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about the kind of project that um, Shredders is engaged you for. Yeah, it was mainly on uh, um, carbon fiber parts uh, because it's the, the, the core business from, from Schroeder as well. And uh, yeah, it was necessary to do some calculation on mainly, or the, f the first uh, project we worked on was on uh, uh, blades, which were for wind tunnel uh, fans, so to push the air into the, the wind tunnels. Mm -hmm. And they, it, it, was, it, it is still a quite tricky component because it has to have some natural frequencies, ranges where you have to come out to avoid resonance. They have strength uh, problems because, of course, they rotate at a certain speed. They are big, so uh, exactly the, the carbon fiber is the, the, the material to be used because of stiffness and, and, and weight uh, issues. Uh, no issues, no, it's not the right. Um, benefits, mm -hmm. so it's the uh, stiffness to weight ratio, which is the 
best you can have from, mm -hmm. from materials nowadays. Mm -hmm. And here is the, where we started. We did uh, two, three of these things with, uh, with success, and yeah, this is where we started from. And then another project started with uh, Ruag Aerospace on some structures, this time more made out of uh, metal. Mm -hmm. They were handling jigs of uh, components for Ariane. So, yeah. So there are different materials you're using in your yep. work every day? Yes. Not only composites, but also, let's say, classic yeah. materials? Yeah, materials like yeah, aluminum, steel, titanium. Mm -hmm. Depending on what the customer needs, what the material needs to figure out and... Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. There might be projects where we can suggest what is the best material to yes. use and this is coming from experience, from calculation, from engineering, mm -hmm. depending of course on the customer meetings. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we are very pleased because actually recently you joined the Show Your Suites core team. Why we are so pleased is because actually you bring so much experience and knowledge and competence into our company, in our core team, because as we mentioned before, we were also partnering before, but now we are, you are really a part of our team. So your expertise fits exactly into our concept of complete service, because we offer our customers, namely all services from calculation and design to production until the finished component. So what made you personally decide to enter into this long-term cooperation with Sherry Swiss? Well, first of all, it's because we, in the project that we mentioned before, we worked really well together, so it was a really good cooperation and satisfactory. So this was one thing that made me think that also the coming pro projects will be handled the same way and with the same spirit and, and good cooperations, uh, cooperation. And, and then I think it's because my own company has the only experience of uh, calculation. So we don't have any design competencies. Mm -hmm. And whereas design, uh, Scheuer, Swiss has mm -hmm. them. And therefore, uh, we complete ourselves, for sure. Uh, and because we work together very well, we can also close the loop between design, calculation, and then maybe calculation shows that design is not as good as it should be or could be, and then we can go back mm -hmm. and redo uh, in a quicker way uh, some loops by having this more uh, tight cooperation rather than uh, in, in the previous, in the past that we mm -hmm. we did it, of course, but it was not so efficient. So I think that now it will be more efficient. Even and, more efficient, yeah. And the customers will uh, benefit from, from this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So talking about this computer-aided structural design, what potential do you generally see in this computer-aided modeling and analysis of complex thermostructural behavior of mechanical components and assemblies? Well, simulation, because in the end this is how it's uh, in our days uh, called all this uh, thing, has a lot of potential. Theoretically, uh, you could simulate more or less everything. And may maybe in the future this more or less will become all, mm -hmm. uh, without the more or less. Um, clearly, the vehicle prototyping, which is another way of calling simulation, has benefits in the sense that you can simulate or virtually prototype uh, your assembly, your component, uh, without the needing to produce the real testing, mm -hmm. or at least you produce only uh, the latest one, mm -hmm. the one you think is the one which will work, uh, getting rid of all the iterations before, which costs time and, and money, of course. So simulation has a great potential and in these uh, 25 years or more of experience uh, I've seen the improvement in the calculation codes. Of course computer power is, is the key in that, but also, also the codes, the calculation codes have to follow and exploit all the power into, uh, from, from the computers. And when I started, uh, models were mainly linear, it was a component and thinking of having an assembly was almost impossible and even if codes were able to solve, uh, for example, interaction between components through contacts, uh, calculation times were, were really long and maybe mm -hmm. could take more than one week 
Okay. And then maybe finding out that there was an, an error in your model somewhere. Okay. And so you had to start over maybe? Start even over again. Work so, is, yeah. yeah. Nowadays, as I said, the power of computer is so huge that now you can solve uh, millions of equations in maybe a few hours. So you, you run your calculation in the morning and you have the results in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And you can do a lot of uh, iterations yes. and get the final results mm -hmm. in maybe a few days rather than before, maybe it was a few weeks. Mm -hmm. So for you, the future is really almost maybe everything based on this computer-aided engineering. Yes, you so see it's that. Going even further and yeah. more. Every, everybody is going into this direction. Mm -hmm. uh, even cast iron simulation, so you simulate the solidification of a, of a cast uh, iron part. So mm -hmm. from the uh, fused metal down to solid, uh, or for plastic parts which are molded, injected, can simulate the process of that. Mm -hmm. So it's not only um, the engineering side which is simulated, but also sometimes the production mm -hmm. side of, of some yeah. parts. Just to make sure if we're going to product, it, it will work. It will work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Coming back to our cooperation, let's say you are going to be, or you are already a team member. Um, Compared to our corporations before, in your opinion, what are the advantages from which the customers of Sherry Swiss will benefit now that this specialist know, knowledge is, is you know, an integral part of, of the core team? Well, mainly what I said before as a general, all the benefits coming from, from the simulation will be available to customers and then having this uh, tight cooperation mm -hmm. will uh, make all the process quicker and therefore this will be the benefit from mm -hmm. for, for the customers. And making them quicker means also efficient, yes. more efficient, yes. less costly. Well yes, yes of course if you if you are more efficient you waste less time and therefore you can you can provide your product let's say in this case yeah product also in the end because you have also the production site mm -hmm. uh, in a quick a quick time, in a quicker time and very likely with less costs. Mm -hmm. So for the customer, this is going to be the perfect model of a of the whole um, project. Yeah. Like, well, because everything is in one place. Yeah. Well, perfect uh, is never, but you come as close as possible to yes. perfection. But yes, this is. Mm -hmm. This I see it this way, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it will be. Perfect. So we are very looking forward to it. Okay. Let us go back a bit in time yes. and look at your successes. You have more than 25 years of experience in simulating the thermostructural behavior, as I said. Um, where does this extensive exper experience and expertise come from? The, in other words, in which areas, in, with which software have you already been working? Which customers have already, already benefited from, from your extensive knowledge? Well, as I mentioned before, um, I have experience in railways, so I worked, uh, well, this actually was my first uh, uh, company, I was employed, was uh, designing and producing rolling stock materials for locomotive trams, and it was back, yeah, 25 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, with simple models, uh, but nevertheless, we, uh, for that time, I think the company was doing a good job. And then aerospace, so I worked, uh, for example, for the International Space Station, so on the Node 2, which is then now up there somewhere in, in the sky. And again, with uh, the technologies that were developing, and in that case, the code, for example, was Nastran, because this is the one which is uh, requested from, from the aerospace environment, because Nastran stays for Nasal Structural Analysis, is the acronym. And, uh, but there are other that started to develop uh, in the 70s, like uh, ANSYS and Abacus. So in our days, in terms of code, you have these three main, uh, let's say, um, very, very powerful codes. And there are others that are now growing up, like uh, the Altair Suite, for example. Um, but I have one among them which is my favorite in terms of cost to, to 
quality of the results and possibility that uh, are given to, to the structural engineer. Which is it? Uh, it's Abacus. Mm -hmm. okay. This is Abacus from Dassault now. And yeah, you can apply this code to more or less uh, every, every, everything because you can model, for example, hyperelastic uh, materials like rubbers uh, to carbon, like we did uh, for, for Scheurer. Mm -hmm. um, normal standard metals uh, with the same easy, uh, I wouldn't say click of mouse, but in the end it's now what, what the structural But you have to know how to do it. You have to way. know how to do it, yes, yes. Of course. It's of not course. that simple, maybe for you, because um, of no, your knowledge? Unfortunately, unfortunately, in our days as well, um, you are not only requested to know the mecha uh, solid mechanics, so the, the base of structural analysis, but you're also required to know the, the software you're using. So I can say I, I know Abacus quite well. I know ANSYS because I, I used it, uh, for example, for a company here which was named Marenko and now turned into Copter. And they are trying to design uh, a full, complete carbon helicopter. Mm -hmm. um, and then Nastron, as I said, because it's used in the aerospace. But you, because they develop and they develop quickly, uh, in the end, if you stop using one code for two years, you are almost lost on that. Uh, the good thing of these codes is that they still have an input file, which is a text file, which is then read in by the code. And in this input file, it's called input file, you have all uh, what is in your model. So everything is written into there. And so if you know the syntax of, of, of this uh, uh, input file, you can understand mm -hmm. what is written in without even looking into, into the model. Mm -hmm. It's, of course, not the best way in our days, but once it was like that, mm -hmm. you really had to write this file by hand. Yeah. I did it personally when I started, even at the university, so mm -hmm. 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you, you, it's, it's, very, it's very educative because you have to write it by hand. And mm -hmm. it, it, it's quite long and now you understand that when you have an input file which is made out of maybe, I don't know, 500 megabytes, you can imagine how many information is written in there mm -hmm. and you cannot do that by hand anymore. You can yeah. read it, but... Mm -hmm. So that, that's exactly the difference. 30 years later, it's more, it's even more computer in it. Yes, it has to be. Even, even before that the computer was also adding? Yes. But now, as you said, it's almost all computer based. Yes, yes. Well, uh, the, the method was born much before uh, computers were even thought. And imagine the frustration of the guys that saw the potential of the finite element method but could not apply it because they were giving so many equations in system of equations that you could not solve by hand. Mm -hmm. You needed a computer. Mm -hmm. Imagine the frustration mm -hmm. beginning of uh, the yeah, beginning of uh, 1900. Mm -hmm. They found the method, but they could not mm -hmm. use it. Mm -hmm. Well, at least we have it now, so we're happy that we can work with this computer edit system. And you are not only consulted in that area, but also freelance calculation engineer. And now, as I said before, you're also part of our team, of Shared Swiss team. Um, but besides, you write also books. Mm, yes. Mr. Yes, Danini, yeah, one. we have one, <laughs> right? This is in English, was the first one. Um, it's quite old now. It's uh, first uh, time it was published was 2003. So. Mm -hmm. It would be time to for a new review edition. it yeah, for a new edition. As I said, uh, the method is still the same, but there are things like uh, yeah, interactive graphical bits, which will need to be uh, updated into that and to, to show readers that uh, yeah, the method is still valid, but mm -hmm. you can do things in a quicker way and mm -hmm. in a better way. I was actually asking you, would what was the motivation to write down a book? Ah. <laughs> because actually you have the, the knowledge, so you could just say, you know, I'm going to work for companies and give my, my knowledge and by working, yeah. but you choose also to write a book. So what was your motivation? What do you want your readers to, to profit from? Well, to, to be honest, uh, I, I don't know exactly where it's coming from, but I know that uh, exactly after uh, my degree, back in 2092, I had the opportunity to write an article 
on whatever um, mechanical behavior of a, of a car. Uh, I don't remember it. There was this uh, um, technical paper, and they were, they were looking for some something uh, to be written, not uh, um, not given. So you have you were free. And then I proposed this article, and then it was published, and I liked it to see them in in this. Uh, technical magazine, my article with my name, it, it was nice. And, and then from there I started to write uh, other articles from on the finite element method and the industrial application. And since then, yeah, it was good that the next step would have been to, to publish a book. Mm -hmm. So I have collected here all the articles and I filled what was missing. I tried to give a more homogeneous uh, uh, form and then publish it. Mm -hmm. There is also an next one which is uh, on more advanced techniques. But, mm -hmm. yeah. So you would in any case recommend to read first yeah, of all of that one? Yes. I'm going to show that again. Computer Aided Structural Design by Claudio Giannini. This one is available in English uh, yes. and in Italian. Yeah. And the second one for now is just Only in Italian. Italian. Yeah. And the second one is called Advanced Structural Design Techniques, of course with an Italian title then. Yeah. But as you said, you are maybe going to bring together those two books yeah. in a new edition. So we are looking forward. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, this is the idea and the plan and it's waiting for me to have more time to mm -hmm. dedicate it to it. And which on one side is good because it means that we have work to do. So mm -hmm. That's true. So besides books, besides your knowledge, besides working as a freelancer, as a team, core member of um, Share Swiss, you also bring your technical expertise um, right on to your customers by giving trainings. Yes. What do you see as an advantage for customers to be trained by you? Because actually, as you said, you have an introduction a text when you have a software, so maybe you could also read that one or they are the ones that sell the software. What do you bring your customers more like a benefit if, if you train them? Well, in the end, the, the, the software could be uh, trained also by someone who doesn't know anything about structural design. It's just a question of commands to, to be given, like uh, uh, anybody could probably learn a software like Katia for mm -hmm. design, but without this meaning that he is a designer. Yeah, just so, to know how to yeah, use the exactly, software. To, to say, yeah, you to draw apply. a line from here to here, but yes. then how the line has to be, this is the, based on the experience and the knowledge of the designer. So the idea would be, of my trainings, is actually the, the training I've done more having this kind of um, aspect. It's not to train on a specific code, but to train on methods. So then, um, for example, how to model a carbon carbon part. Uh, you say what are the things that you have to look into in, in terms of um, the input you need, the output you want to have, the kind of modeling that you need to do, like in, more specifically for finite elements, the way you stack up your playbook, uh, the direction of the normal, if it is from up to down or from top to bottom. So there are some things that may not be written into the instruction of the code, mm -hmm. which are sort of trick and tips that uh, the user, maybe if if they if if they see it from 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 you, uh, they not learn it on their skin the mm -hmm. way we say mm -hmm. in Italian at least. So they not get burned by doing a mistake which can cost a lot because mm -hmm. if you give wrong results in a simulation and then you produce the part and the part fails at the testing or even worse in, in service mm -hmm. then, then it's a problem. Mm -hmm. So the idea on the training is this, so be careful, the code, the computer is a stupid. Mm -hmm. You still they still need to have a, a brain behind mm -hmm. to make them work the way you want them to, mm -hmm. to work. Mm -hmm. So the idea is this. Yeah. That's an idea I like really much because you, you give, as you said, tips and tricks. So this is a step behind the software. Uh, yes. The software as it is there, but you, you go a step further and you train what your knowledge is and you give it. Well, last but not least, Mr. Giannini, 
your guiding, that's what you said once, your guiding principle is engineers know what they do and do what they know. Mm -hmm. yes. So let us know what you look forward to most in the near future with regard to the cooperation with Cherry Swiss. Um, yes, I think probably it's, it's a simple one, an easy one, looking forward to get a new project to work on. So as we said at the beginning, to give our knowledge to the customers, to give or let the customer benefit from our knowledge in the products they want to, to produce. And on the other side, to see new things and to learn, again, something more and make this not just a job, but also fun, maybe. Mm -hmm. Because in the end, if you work with fun, you work more um, in a more easy way. Mm -hmm. This is also my principle. I tend generally to to joke a lot yeah. with uh, with the customer, with the colleagues, uh, with passion. So yeah, as passion. well. Yes, yeah. It, it makes everything. Uh, as I said, one step above being uh, just a job mm -hmm. is something which involves you. I wouldn't say your mm -hmm. life, but at least the hours you spend in work make them more enjoyable than just uh, making and writing and. Mm -hmm. uh, feeling that you are forced to do something and on the other side doing something yeah, with uh, wanting to do it, mm -hmm. willing really to do it and yeah, not just because you are forced to. Mm -hmm. We are very pleased to have this passion on board, <laughs> so thank you for, for joining our team. Thank you. Um, infine vorrei ricambiare all'italiano mm -hmm. per, per fare questa, questa fine, grazie mille per l'intervista signor Gianni. Grazie a voi. E siamo veramente lieti di darvi il benvenuto eh, come membro del team di Shire Swiss e infatti non vediamo l'ora di proseguire con molti molti progetti insieme a lei. Benissimo, anche io non vedo l'ora. Facciamo in modo che sia così. Grazie. Grazie a voi.